took control of your destiny. Own it. All right, walk softer. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. If Eddie catches us in here, there's no turning back now. Okay, files. Huh, the Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh, hmm? Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Resume, Donald Mert. Economy for action, blah, blah, blah. responsibility to supervise construction of sandwiches. You, whoa, whoa. Oh, he was, that's his, that's his resume. That he was at Metro Sandwiches, Never mind. Um. General discharge under honorable conditions from the army. Okay. Army of the United States. So, what's the importance of this? Are you finding anything? No. Drug paraphernalia of uh, flight to avoid prosecution. I don't understand the point of any of that. So the guy has Seriously? a record. Seriously? You're going to try to hack into his computer? We're here for inform. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Hope he remembers that because I won't. 5-3. Huh. I'll remember 5-3. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Remember that your princess is recovered, blah, 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 blah. Nothing to do with this smells or any spears. We can all benefit from this discussion. We'd like to remind you of your upcoming council meeting on blah, 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 Juno Senate. Okay. You hit reply all, Sherlock. Oh, that's hilarious. Wait, scroll is R. Okay. Uh, can I get to the end? Oh, it's only two. People were all adults here. Whoever keeps leaving dirty dishes in the sink better learn to clean after themselves or I will personally stuff said culprit into the washer. Man who piss in her cereal. That was Greg's. Nice one, Greg's. Okay. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. I agree. I don't know why I'm going in here, but whatever. I'm going in there to take that. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Should I, should I not take this? Oh yes. Burn it, burn it with fire. The game wants me to take it so I can get caught. I'm not falling for a game, screw you. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. There's a community social. He volunteered to help. And he pretty much knows everyone. And more importantly, he's called the cops on who. He's in charge of the shooting charge. So, Eddie plus one to the annual social. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Okay. That's a little weird. I don't know. I don't think any of that stuff is unusual for a, a chief to have in his office. God. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Wait, what? You're pressing the wrong numbers. Hold on. Oh, I don't need to do any of that. So. Dumb? So it's six. 
You're pressing the wrong numbers. Six zero four one. You're pressing the wrong numbers. I know. No, I didn't. <sighs> How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Six. Yes. We're in trouble now. We're definitely in trouble now. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. They're so what? casual. Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R6-86-53. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. R6-86-53? Nope. Not this one either. Uh, where? No, that's not it. Nope. Well, oh! What do you mean? Huh. What was that reference number again? 05-R68-653. 05-R68-653, was it? Full. Looks like a step by step record of the investigation. 2235 notified by my partner, Officer Christian Holt, of accident at 12 Cannery Road. White female identified as Marianne Ronan, date of birth, falling over deck into a lake. Audio recorded tape, brown, blah, blah, blah. Holt and I arrived at the scene, briefed by patrol officer. Local witnesses, minor's name redacted, Ronan and minor's name redacted. Children of Mary and Ronan couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care at patrol. T. Dickens arrived at scene, rolled prints of victim, crime lab, blah, blah, blah. At scene, completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed Rassler 3121 shotgun bullets recovered. All right, so an unlicensed gun. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Coroner took possession of the body, cleared the scene, interviewed children at station, stated that after so, um, uh, his hair was cut short by his sister, Ronan Marianne, uh, Ronan threatened, uh, that his name, his him with a gun blah, blah, blah. oh my god all these redactions confuse me when um he fled from her she pursued child to the docks ronan stabbed ma ronan who was still threatening the child before falling over into the water when is the state they called 911 shortly after uh brown canvassed this crime scene did not recover a pair of scissors did not recover a pair of scissors claimed by one of the kids presented this case to dab cruz charged um the minor with homicide oh that's it i don't remember the numbers hopefully it'll automatically remember for me in the computer faster 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 what is that nothing all right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? 
I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Um, 24-hour homicide report victim. Wait. So, wait, what do I do? References. Um. Zero five R sixty one eight eighty nine. There. I'm glad he said that because I wouldn't have done it Caucasian blah, 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 foreign language none unemployed um, on docket looks like victim threatened her child with a gun child stabbed her with a pair of scissors victim subsequently fell into lake um da -da 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 -da, way back in row crossing uh, da -da, article shotgun serial number three five nine so there's IDs and stuff here. There's the gun. Found Again, I'm not. Everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. I'm not Found gonna be able to remember most of this. He's not a writer, Tyler. On March 1st, at around 2200, the victim uh, exited her home and entered a garage to start loading a wrestler. Shortly after, her child, 11 years old, entered the garage to display a new haircut. According to witness, uh, the other kid, uh, when she saw the child's haircut, Marianne became enraged and threatened him with a shotgun. Ronan fled the garage towards the lake, calling for help. Marianne followed, still armed, out onto the dock on the southern side of the property. Hearing the noise, the witness also came out of the house towards the dock where she observed um, him under threat from Marianne defend themselves by stabbing mother with a pair of scissors. At the time, both witnesses state M.A. Ronan lost consciousness and fell into the lake. Uh, Christian Holt received a phone call from one of the miners detailing the incident. Uh, another cop was dispatched to the scene upon arrival. They set up a containment of the scene, began a crime scene log, and started tending to both juveniles. See their statements for further description. Christian Holt notified his partner, Officer Eddie Brown, by telephone of the incident before being dispatched to the scene. Both Brown arrived at the scene at 2258. They noted the crime scene was located entirely outdoors. Henry Road is a secluded road, mostly comprised of a few residential cottages. Detectives observed a loaded rest or shotgun on the dock. No rounds have been discharged. We directed forensic po uh, personnel to recover the items. Detectives were directed to witnesses, blah, blah, blah. A uh, witness stated that she heard screaming while she was upstairs in her bedroom. She ran down the stairs and looked over the kitchen window and saw her sibling and their mother, Marianne, on the docks. Marianne was threatening her child with her gun. Tried, away, uh, uh, tried to run away, but Marianne threatened that she was going to school. This is all repeating the same thing. According to both witnesses, she stated, I'm going to kill you. I mean, at this point, we kind of are assuming that she wasn't attacking... Tyler or Ozzy, right? Or Ollie. What did I say, Ozzy? That it was possibly she saw something else, right? That's what I think the game is kind of making us assume. Uh, da 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 da. Say, I'm going to kill you. Stab Marianne with a pair of scissors, trying to escape. Marianne Ronan fell, then fell into the water, blah, blah, blah. It's all the same thing. So hopefully that gave me numbers I can then look up in the computer. This is taking so long. Here. Thank God. Tax information receipt. OCS. E. Brown. Wait. Okay. I need to check out 0501 COM EBR. 
Zero five zero one something something. I'll know it when I see it. Yeah. Okay, here it is. Good thing these things are all marked. Hell? Brown reported Marianne to Child Services. What do you mean? I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just, just keep looking. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I thought happened. Um, I'm guessing it wasn't for nefarious reasons. He probably shit. had a reason. Shit, shit, shit! Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Stole him. No shit, Sherlock. All right, March 1st, child services. No. Hospital discharge papers. So she went in the hospital. Dallas Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Wait. Dallas Crossing Police Department. Oh. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Proop, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Proop. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Okay. Got something. Here. Tom Vecchi, theft report, child neglect report. So it was Tom that reported her. Child neglect and theft. I want to click on this. Why can't I? References 2005 201 This one. Here we go. Is it, I'm in here an awfully long time. What the hell? Has it accused her of child neglect? Uh, theft, blah, 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 tracking number, report file, blah, 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 calling, blah, 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 shoplifting. Person reported. So why did Tessa do this? What? Aaron Ronan, officer, name and rank, Eddie Brown. 1045, Mary Ronan entered, uh, Veni Vetti Vetki, owned by Thomas and Tessa. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Uh, Ms. Vecchi stated that she was behind the cash register and did not have a direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Stated that after the, those 10 minutes, Ronan asked uh, her if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. That came from Ronan that she did not, but stated she believed this demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything else. Becky stated that after approximately five minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Becky states that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. Becky stated that she has suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past. 
Probably while in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. Becky stated that she also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Becky believed it was possible some form of abuse may be occurring at home. I want to see the autopsy. Where was that at? Was it recording? No. Why can't I scroll up? That seems so weird. Ronin sentencing order, 3-2. Why doesn't that get a check mark? I don't know. J. Miller verbal and physical threat. All right, so let's take that out. Eleven sixteen. S. Kansky DUI. So Sam had a DUI. This is long after though. Uh, L. Kansky complaint. Guessing that's probably his his wife. So the complaint was filed in July, and then November he had a DUI. So she wasn't cheating. He wasn't cheating on his wife with with the mother, was she? Hospital discharge, Tessa. In charge, E. Brown. Hospital discharge, papers release form, Ronan. I feel like these are more papers I've got to look for. Why when I click, it's so funny. Eddie Brown is the one in charge, but when I click on his name, it disappears. I don't know, I feel like it shouldn't. So what else should I do? Okay, so I need to check out. 2014 203411 203 203 here it is there I have so much time to do this this is actually kind of funny Nothing helpful. Uh, Dalos Crossing, Police Department Summary, Incident Report. Incident Type, Trespass and Public Intoxication. Lincoln Avenue, approved by Eddie. It's at a residence. It's Laura. Name Samuel, blah, blah, blah. Denise. We received a call reporting a suspicious person or persons near the Laura Kansky property. So they were already split. Arrived at the address and met with Mrs. Kansky. According to her, she was woken around 2300 by sounds. She first looked for a bear. She armed herself with a Smith & Wesson 500 found at the property and registered to Miss Kansky. She went outside and discharged one round in the air and threatened the animal. Uh, since then, uh, she then noticed human footprints in the snow leaning from the street to her backyard. She moved back into the house, locked the door, and called 911. I invited Miss Kansky to remain in my squad car while I searched the premises. I approached the backyard from the southwest side of the house and moved toward the shed 20 feet from the house at that time. I heard the sound of glass breaking and drew my service pistol. The shed door was open and the light was on, but all I confirmed there was no one inside. I rounded the side of the shed and found Samuel seated in a folding lawn chair. There were multiple beer bottles at his feet, and Mr. Kansky was behaving in a manner that suggested intoxication. I always knew Crazy D would get me in the end. He began laughing and reached for something under his chair. 
Suspecting Mr. Kenzie may have a concealed weapon, I requested Mr. Kenzie refrain from further motion. He then stated, and shit, D, I just wanted to drink uh, a beer with you. I had Mr. Candy's Kansky stand and confirmed a cardboard carrier containing one bottle of unopened beer was under the chair. I instructed him to return home, but he said he was already home. Kansky was referring to the home of Laura Kansky as his own, though he is no longer a legal resident. I remind Kansky that his home was on the lake and he eventually agreed to an escort. On learning that I was his, uh, it was her former husband, Ms. Kansky declined to press charges. She also stated that it was the anniversary of the finalization of their divorce. I performed a sweep in Ms. Kansky's house and premises to confirm there was no other suspicious persons leaving her there. I drove Mr. Kansky back to his boat, blah, 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 became unconscious and remained in the back of my service vehicle until Police Chief Edward Bono arrived. All right. So was he cheating which led to the divorce or does the what led to the divorce not really matter? This is all stuff I know. Been there, done that. Was there another file? No. Tessa's name came up. Search for her. I mean, adding a third one is just going to narrow it down more, I would think. I got them all. This one is interesting to me. Hospital discharge papers release form. Does this mean Tessa was in the hospital and why? It's about child service. Unless Tessa. Wait, what, what's the current year? Is it 2015? Unless they're saying that Tessa was informed of the hospital discharge? Because this is child service. So I'm guessing this means Tyler, right? I don't know. I don't know what the game wants me to do now. See, that one's got a check mark. All right. 201496. References 2014 201496. Didn't I already read that? I think. Hold on. I think I know what's going on. Okay, here it is. So, the 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 file that it Help says out loud out. is the file um that I that I have it on when I leave the computer. I wish the game was more clear about that, but I see it now. I need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Sweet. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not going to repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. H hey. <laughs> Get off me. Rather spend the night here? Come on. I said don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky, your family. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk.
The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. Um... So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Uh... Yeah, that's bullshit. What? It's bullshit! You didn't forget to water your goddamn plants. He lied. You know what? Never mind. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best, and I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. There's still something missing. Yeah, it's not that easy. I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. See you around, Chief. I feel like I just burned a bridge, though, but whatever. Uncle, I, uh... It's all good, Allison. Let's have a talk later. Just us, okay? All right. Damn! See you later. Why do I get a choice to talk to him again? You should get going, Tyler. That's a little weird. Um... Hold on, is this is this door? What? <laughs> I wanted to go back in there. Um, do we go out the exit door, or, or can I? Per I need to get out of here. Can I parade around in front of the others? <laughs> Sup? Sup? Nothing to see here. Yo. Kids, be careful out there, yeah? Hey, you know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. Me too. 
Bernies? That's a no for me. Only you have the necessary germ resistance for Bernies. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. Wait, can I talk to her too? Oh, I can. You two on your way out? Yeah, we've got stuff to do. You ready, Allison? Sure, whatever. Well, don't be a stranger, Tyler. Sure. See you around. See you later. All right, well, that didn't exactly go the way I wanted it to. I feel like... So, the way I was assuming it was going to work, um, I would get new information from browsing the computer. Uh, my short-term memory can be um, a bit off. And I was assuming it seemed like the game would be like, all right, I need to look for this file. And that helps. But what I didn't realize was it was only mentioning that if I left the computer while viewing that specific incident or whatever. And so there are things in there that I missed because of it, because I was assuming that. So whatever. Can't change that now. She's mad at me. Allison. Or him. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we going to do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not going to do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she... Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> 